my name is Doug Hills, and welcome to this introductory video for the Ultimate Speech Bubbles Pack for Clip Studio Paint presented by Graphixly. Now the goal of this video is to help you through the steps needed to use this pack in Clip Studio Paint, whether it's by copying and pasting elements into a project or registering these elements to materials so they can be quickly used as needed. Now, if you have not purchased your pack yet, first thing you need to do is head over to graphicsly.com on your browser. Select add-ons from the main menu and then select speech bubbles pack. Now that you've downloaded your copy, it's time to extract the zip file. For Mac, it's as simple as double clicking on the zip file and all of the items will be extracted into a separate folder. If you're in Windows, simply click the zip file, right click, and select Extract All. Choose your destination for the extracted folder and press Extract. Now, opening up our folder, we can see that there are 200 different types of speech bubbles, each broken down into various types. Frame, multi-balloon bubbles, polygonal bubbles, single bubbles, special borders, special bubbles, spiky bubbles, and thought balloons. As you can see, included with these various folders are preview windows, so you can see exactly which kind of word balloons there are in each folder, so you don't have to like go through each one individually to find the balloon or bubble that you're looking for. Now, to open one of these files in Clip Studio Paint, I found the easiest method is to place a Finder or Explorer window above your copy of Clip Studio Paint, select one of the images, and I'll go to Single Bubbles, and I'll go with Single One. And then I just click and drag, and it opens up in Clip Studio Paint. Now if you notice, because I had already had an illustration open, the single one.png just opens up in a separate tab. All of the balloons in this pack are PNG files. This means that they are more static than the balloons created by Clip Studio Paint's balloon tool. Now this means that there won't be any vector points that can be adjusted with the object select tool like you can with the word balloon tool. Also, if there is a balloon tail, like in this example, it's fixed in place, meaning that if you needed it someplace else, you probably would have to erase and redraw the tail. Now, on the other hand, raster balloons get to be much more ornate than the basic ones created by the balloon tool. A great example are the special border balloons that you can see right here. These are ones that simply cannot be created with the word balloon tool. Another thing to keep in mind with PNG files is that because these balloons are raster based or pixel based, they can degrade in quality if they're transformed frequently. Like I can resize this once, but if I expand it or transform it again and again, the image quality is going to degrade. So to get around this, I suggest coming up to the main menu and selecting layer, convert layer, and converting this from a raster layer to an image material layer. You can change the name here to single one, into the type of image material layer, and press OK. And now, if I use the Object Select tool, I can scale, rotate, and do pretty much whatever I want, as many times as I want, without losing the quality of the original image. Okay, so let's add this to my illustration. The simplest method is to select the layer, edit, copy, come over here, edit, paste. Now clearly the balloon is a little bit bigger than the screen, so I will resize and I'll even flip it up and over like so. You may notice that the border now has become a little thinner. A great way to fix this is to come over to the layer properties palette, select border effect, change the edge color from white to black, and then increase the thickness of edges until it's about where you'd like it. All I have to do now is switch to my text tool. And move it above the word balloon in position. And I should also note that the text tool will not link automatically to the word balloon. You'll have to select both and move them at the same time in order to keep the text and the word balloon together. Now let's say that you find you'd like to use a certain word balloon like this one fairly frequently. It is possible to just repeat the method we went over every time you would want to use the balloon. I'm going to offer a different suggestion, registering this balloon to materials. Before we do that, I'm going to open up the materials palette. Window, 
material, and we can choose any one from the list here, because we're just going to go to all materials. I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a new folder, I'm going to call this Ultimate Speech Bubbles. And now that we have our folder, we can add our material. Now there are two ways to do that. From the main menu, select Edit, Register Material, Image, or select the layer and just drag it into our new folder. Now regardless of the method, we want to make sure that the properties are the way we want them. So in this case, I'm going to double click on the word balloon material we created, confirm that's the material name that I'd like, and I need to make sure that scale up and down is checked. This will ensure that the balloon can be transformed after it's been pasted into a page. And I also just make sure that adjust after pasting is selected in this drop down list here. Everything's good, press OK. Coming back to the sample page, I can add another balloon to this over a little bit by selecting single one and dragging it into the page and that's it my balloon is all set but now I don't have to go through the process of opening the PNG file converting it copying it and pasting it now all that's left to do is to repeat this process for any other balloon that I would like to add to Clip Studio Paint and with that I'm gonna wrap up this introductory video now, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this I hope that you will find it useful, and I really hope that you will enjoy playing around with the Ultimate Speech Bubbles Pack for Clip Studio Paint, presented by Graphics Link. My name is Doug Hills, and I'll see you around.